needed to do something about it. Our club has a second chance. They started their own club. It was a dream. You know, it's now becoming a reality. Berry, bringing football back, Saturday at 1.30 and 8.30 on the BBC News Channel. This is BBC News, I'm Rita Chakrabarti, the headlines. Tough new measures to combat coronavirus in Northern Ireland. Pubs and restaurants will serve takeaways only for four weeks and schools will shut for two weeks from Monday. We fully appreciate that this will be a difficult and worrying news for a lot of people. The executive has taken this decision because it is necessary and we discuss the impacts in great detail. The Prime Minister denies Labour claims that he's ignoring scientific advice about a short lockdown in England and insists that local measures will work. A package of interventions, including a circuit breaker, will be needed to prevent an exponential rise in cases. Why did the Prime Minister reject that advice and abandon the science? The whole point, Mr Speaker, is to seize this moment now to avoid the misery of another national lockdown into which he wants to go uh, headlong. Birmingham City Council confirms a number of used coronavirus swab kits were given out to households in the district of Selly Oak. <laughs> Criticism of crowds in Liverpool city centre last night, just before the area entered the highest level of restrictions. And as countries around the world grapple with how to contain a second wave of the virus, we look at how Europe is coping. Hello, good afternoon. The Northern Ireland government has imposed tough new restrictions for four weeks to try to curb the spread of COVID-19. The First Minister Arlene Foster said the decision was difficult.